Welcome. In this e-learning module, I shall demonstrate and make you understand how to color the parts of the press tool in Katya V5. First, let's hide all the planes which are visible in the parts. Right click on the top plate and open it in the new window. Set the view to isometric and fit all in. Select the pad from the product structure. Pick on tools, hide all except selected elements. Observe everything, but the pad got hidden. Save the top plate. Close the top plate. Right click on the die shoe and open it in the new window. Set the view to isometric and fit all in. Select the pad from the product structure. Pick on tools, hide all except selected elements. Observe everything, but the pad got hidden. Save the die shoe. Close the die shoe. Right click on the lifting hook and open it in the new window. Set the view to isometric and fit all in. Select the pad from the product structure. Pick on tools, hide all except selected elements. Observe everything, but the pad got hidden. Save the lifting hook. Close the lifting hook. Repeat the procedure for all the parts of the press tool. Once all the unwanted elements are hidden, you can see the green colored elements. These are the assembly constraints. Right click on the constraints and hide them. Swap the window to the die assembly. Right click on the constraints and hide them. Swap the window to the punch assembly. Right click on the constraints and hide them. Swap the window to the press tool assembly. Observe all the assembly constraints are hidden. Click on File, Save All, to save all the modified files in session. Swap the window to the die assembly. Right click on the die plate and pick Properties. On the Graphic tab, pick the color you want to apply to the die plate. Right click on the rear strip guide plate and pick properties. On the graphic tab, pick the color you want to apply to the rear strip guide plate. Right click on the front strip guide plate and pick properties. On the graphic tab, pick the color you want to apply to the front strip guide plate. Right click on the die back plate and pick properties. On the Graphic tab, pick the color you want to apply to the die backplate. Right click on the die shoe and pick Properties. On the Graphic tab, pick the color you want to apply to the die shoe. Right click on the Guide Pillar and pick Properties. On the Graphic tab, pick the color you want to apply to the Guide Pillar. Right click on the second guide pillar and pick properties. On the graphic tab, pick the color you want to apply to the second guide pillar. Right click on the strip layout and pick properties. On the graphic tab, pick the red color and apply it. It's a general practice to apply red color for the strip layout. Swap the window to the press tool assembly. Go ahead, repeat the procedure, and apply colors to all parts of the press tool. With this, we have successfully learned how to color the parts of the press tool in Katya V5. That's all in this e-learning module, thanks.